The God Whale by T. J. Bass, a sequel to Half Past Human, delves into a dystopian future where humanity grapples with its own evolution. The narrative unfolds in a world dominated by the Nebishas, a collective entity referred to as the Hive. At the center of this intricate tale is Larry Dever, the protagonist, who undergoes a profound transformation that explores the boundaries of humanity. The novel commences with Larry awakening in a time where cloning technology has advanced to the point of replacing lost limbs. Larry, however, is no ordinary amputee, he is a man who has lost most of his body, including his legs, due to a tragic accident. The ingenious solution to his predicament lies in a set of intelligent mechanical legs, colloquially known as a mannequin. This prosthetic device becomes an essential part of Larry's existence, both symbolically and practically. Larry's journey is not merely a physical one but a metaphysical exploration of identity and adaptation. The integration of the mannequin into his body raises questions about the nature of self and the boundaries between man and machine. This theme resonates with the broader societal implications of technological advancements, echoing concerns about the potential erosion of human essence in the face of relentless progress. At the core of Larry's struggle is the jury he faces, a collective consciousness that evaluates individuals and determines their societal worth. The jury acts as a metaphorical extension of the hive, representing the amalgamation of nebbish minds that collectively decide the fate of those deemed different. Larry's unique existence, coupled with his reliance on the mannequin, places him on trial not only for his physical transformation but also for the existential questions it raises. As Larry attempts to navigate the intricacies of his new reality, his relationship with his child, Dim Dever, becomes a poignant focal point. The intergenerational dynamics between Larry and Dim exemplify the ripple effects of technological evolution on familial bonds. The challenges Larry faces in accepting his altered self and integrating into a society dominated by the hive mirror the broader generational gaps and struggles for acceptance in the face of societal changes. The novel's title, The God Whale, introduces a mythical creature that serves as a powerful metaphor. The God Whale, a colossal entity that defies conventional understanding, symbolizes the enigma of existence and the unfathomable depths of the human experience. It becomes a metaphorical backdrop against which Larry's personal odyssey unfolds, highlighting the vast, uncharted territories of self-discovery and adaptation. Base paints a vivid picture of the Nebishas, the human population that comprises the hive. The Nebishas embody a collective consciousness that blurs the lines between individuality and shared identity. Larry's struggle to adapt to a society where personal autonomy is subsumed by the greater collective underscores the tension between individual agency and the demands of a communal existence. The God Whale invites readers to contemplate the nature of humanity in the face of advancing technology and societal transformation. Larry's journey serves as a microcosm for the larger narrative of a species grappling with its own evolution. The novel skillfully weaves together themes of identity, adaptation, and the collective consciousness, creating a thought-provoking exploration of the human condition in an ever-changing world. Through Larry's experiences, Bass challenges readers to reflect on the potential consequences of technological progress and the profound impact it can have on the essence of what it means to be human.